Smith has an affinity for Tucson. He's actually been here for a while this week, posting pictures around town. Even our buddy Tommy ended up getting a picture with him at a comic book store Which here. Which is awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. But with that, too, we don't have to go to Phoenix just to see Kevin Smith anymore, which is how it's been for years. But it feels like we're trekking to Phoenix because it's so far away. It's downtown. But what the cool thing is, is downtown has really grown leaps and bounds in Tucson. I mean, we've got Hotel Congress, the famous, infamous Hotel Congress. And it's right across the street from the Rialto. And the Rialto has really kicked butt in getting it up to a top level venue. And now we've got Kevin Smith, whereas before we had to go to downtown Phoenix. And we did that when we saw Civil War up in Phoenix. Yep. Um, and that was such a long time ago, but well, now... it felt like such a long time ago. Yeah, I, th I think it felt like maybe, or I think it's been two years. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Times are irrelevant. Times yeah. relative. It's all wibbly wobbly timey wimey. You know how it goes. We are going to downtown Tucson to see Kevin Smith. Right now. Yep. <laughs> He had Jason Hughes with him, um, but it was more about just keeping Jason Hughes clean, which was fun too. And they talked about Game of Thrones and all kinds of And then of they also shit. talk about like all the stuff that happened when he wasn't clean, when he was doing the drugs and stuff like that, which is very, like, they're very interesting stories if you've never been to one of his uh, sure, sure. shows. But still, having an evening with just Kevin Smith, we are more than happy to take part. So we will do that now. Yeah. So we just came out of Kevin Smith's An Evening with Kevin Smith. If you know Kevin Smith, you know what you're in for. Essentially, it is a, as you said, a one-man panel. Yeah, it's it's a comedy show and a motivational speech. Oh, kind of wrapped into one. Very Tony Robbins. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. It's very improv-like. So with Kevin Smith, the nice thing that a lot of comedians do when they do these live shows is they add a little flavor of Tucson. So he started out with that, talking about the hot spots, talking about Hotel Congress and how we still find it relevant, you know. Yeah, you brought Dillinger in the play too, so. Um, I mean, oh yeah, it, it's haunted, I guess. I've never been in there, but we've got Hotel Congress and some cool places, so Kevin Smith talked about that. Now, a lot of takeaways, a lot of conversations. What were your favorite parts just about the whole thing? Ooh. Anything you could pick that you really enjoyed that he talked about. Topic Zoops. of discussion. The soups? The Flash soup. So I love the Flash TV show, and obviously, you know, if you watch it, you know that he directed some of the episodes. So when he talked about the soups, basically when Barry Allen comes in and swoops in, he talks about like how they make it happen, and it was hilarious. Definitely his experience with DC and those episodes. It was a long conversation too that he had. Yeah, but it's just, he, he's a great storyteller. Yes. You know, he, he puts you in that situation. He makes you feel that emotion of someone that's been there, reading the comics, grew up with it. And he's now seeing it all play out, like you said, at like a higher level. Like they took the comics and now they're doing so much more with it. But I love how he goes into like a different story and then he brings it back to, back to the story that it's supposed to be. And you're like, that was what he was talking about before he but he made it like only a one. Well, that's the, the stand-up comedian full circle too. You got to bring it back to the beginning and that's, that's the payback, absolutely. So it was a lot of fun. Obviously, if you were anywhere, you know, in the fandom of Kevin Smith from you love Clerks or you like his newer stuff, like Yoga Hosers or Tusk. I'm not a huge fan of Yoga Hosers. 
or tusk. Tusk is terrifying. It, yeah. It's unsettling. It is unsettling. Good. I really like Red State as well. But obviously, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. He talked about the reboot. The reboot. Oh, yeah. that's a, I'm excited for that because I love Jay and Silent Bob. I love ammo. As a ammo. <laughs> so, and he also talked about how him and Bruce Willis apparently have married the hatchet, which we did not know about. Interesting for sure. But you know what? I got to say, a big win for. Kevin Smith here at the Rialto. A big downside though, and I think we're all collectively, yeah, the chairs. It, yeah, Craig over here had to go like stand up for the second half of the Dude, for the whole second half. Yeah. Nope. Uh -uh. And it nope. was like two and a half hour show too. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was, it was incredibly painful to sit in these chairs. Constantly people were shifting in their seats, people were getting up, moving around. There were some people that I could tell they wanted to leave. Uh, and they were weighing out the, the decision to get up and go because the pain was bad. So man, Rialto, it's a lovely venue. You really have done a great job with what you have built. But man, I understand you gotta pull the seats out and bring them back in, but allow us to bring our own seat cushions or something? Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. Maybe that'll work better. But other than that, it was a success. Mm -hmm. Money's worth for sure. For sure. And we met up with Craig Reck. I mean, you, we'll put his information down below. He's, I don't know if... for our local station. He, 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 if you don't know, he's kind of a big deal. At <laughs> yes, least we do. Yeah, so, but thanks, Craig, for finding us. And no, yeah, that was us. awesome. Yeah, when I saw you guys were coming, I was like, of course they're going to be there. What was I thinking? It makes sense uh, on our side, too, because you are, we're like three psychedelic peas in one far out pod, so... You'll probably be seeing Craig as well sometime in the future. But other than that, we are going to leave the Rialto. We are going to go back. I still have an Okja review to do. Did you guys watch, watch Okja? We did it. We're Not just driving by and looking they, at the oh, if, We're on YouTube, so if you go on right YouTube, on, you can find us there. Awesome. Maybe. Appreciate it. Yeah. I don't know where you have your cards, but that came out quicker than... Locked and loaded. Ooh. Yeah, you got one? Yeah. I could use one. There you go. Because I don't have any of my own either. So we just got stopped. Anyways, we're going to go now. So, as always, now it's time... To say goodbye. Bye. Bye.